SoundCloud is unique because it's the world's leading social sound platform. You know, anybody can be part of it. So Alex, we're here in LA. For our, our readers out there, what is SoundCloud? It's the world's leading audio platform. Um, allows anybody in the world to share audio that they've created, no matter if it's music or somebody recording their kids on their phone, um, or speeches from Obama and people like that. Um, and then it allows anybody to go onto either the mobile applications or the website and find all of these amazing sounds. So you guys were started in Berlin. Yeah, we felt kind of you know, global in a way before we got started and we kind of joke about, you know, like we, we live on the internet, like, you know, not, not in any country. Both my co-founder and I, um, we grew up in Sweden. Um, we'd lived for, lived in San Francisco for a little bit. We moved from Stockholm to Berlin to set the company up there. We have over 30 different nationalities in the company now, uh, offices in, in, in four different cities around the world. It creates this, like, this cool company culture that maps against the culture I know from the web. So SoundCloud is different from Spotify, from Pandora. Can you explain the differences? We really see ourselves as, as creating, creating something, something new, a kind of platform that hasn't existed before, even though it's like very simple. We see similar models in video, we see similar models in, in photos and blog posts and text. Um, so it's kind of a normal type of platform on the web. It just hasn't happened for um, for music and audio yet. So we're really focused on, on building out that piece of, of, of the internet. Our main you know, competition, if you will, is basically that, that, that it doesn't exist in the world yet. And we're trying to create that, that space and, and you know, build the best possible service for it. Is your goal here to become the YouTube of sound? Is that a, is that a fair characterization? You can see a path to that kind of scale around what we're doing, but even at that scale, it doesn't stop there. Like if, because sound is such a fundamental thing to, to you know, human life, there's like an infinite amount of things we could be doing like after that as well. How did that evolution evolve from, from music to, to just sound in general? When we started out, um, it was, it was really around music, but we started seeing people using it for other kind of content as well. And we realized quite fast that, you know, the, the basic thing you need as somebody creating music, wanting to connect with other people through that music is the same kind of things you need um, if you're a politician and want to connect with other people through the speeches. So we, we kind of hoped that would happen and then sort of users started showing us that that was actually the case. Thanks to the grit, and determination of the American people. Hey, this is Mike Shinoda of Lincoln Park and ambassador to the Grammy Amplifier Program. So this program. is a poem that was written by... I think the first step in a good cup of coffee is creating a relationship. I know that there's been struggles with the music industry trying to cope with the, the revolution that is the internet. Yep. How, is, how is SoundCloud maybe helping the music industry cope with that? Since the early days, we've always worked like really closely with all different kinds of creators, trying to figure out you know, what is it that we can add to the mix to make a really great experience for creators and for the people who are interested in what they create. It's become a really useful um, tool for the industry um, to be able to find new audiences, grow their audience. You know, the music industry is opening up in a lot of different ways. You have, you know, artists and, and, and people today who, um, who have much easier access to creating, putting stuff out there, building their own audience and being, you know, kind of on the, on the, on the fringe of the traditional industry. We've seen quite a lot of, um, of artists kind of, you know, um, sort of grow up on SoundCloud and then sort of break into the break into the mainstream. So how many users do you have now and what's, what's, what are the specs in, in terms of growth? Right now we're, we're more than 10 hours of sounds being uploaded every single minute. Um, so huge amounts of stuff. Through sort of the, the, the web platform, the mobile apps, um, the integrations that have been built by companies like Facebook and Twitter, um, we reach, on, on any given month, we reach over 180 million people um, all over the world. It's about 8% of the, of the internet. It's a very, very significant scale, but we, you know, we keep focused by telling ourselves that you know, sound is relevant for every single person, every single company, every institution, every organization.